did all this get started? So this is uh, an ancient form of sport that they used to use uh, to entertain people uh, in peacetime. So when the peasants were getting taxed to keep all these badasses in armor and doing nothing, they would have shows and tournaments. They'd have jousts on horseback, and they would have um, a foot combat in an arena with a set of rules. It didn't used to have rules, but then when people's generals and commanders are getting killed in the shows, they decided after a couple hundred years of death to maybe pick a rule or two, like no stabbing and blunted weapons. And so that's how the sport of Bohort came to be. Bohort is literally French for wallop. You will shortly see why it's called that. So you wouldn't ever really use an edged weapon against a guy in armor. You'd do a lot of stabbing because it's the most effective way to kill a man in armor, which is why we don't do that here. It's a sport, but it is as close to the real thing as you can get without going to prison. I helped bring this sport to the United States in 2012. Uh, me and 28 other LARPers with anger issues went over to Poland and formed the first US team and uh, brought the sport over to the United States and now there's over a thousand fighters fighting in this thing. There's only three of the original team members still fighting. I was very young then. I'm one of those guys at the time. I was 38, now I'm 47. Woo! Which is ancient in this sport. You like that it is hard on the knees, it's hard on the body. So what you're about here to see here today, uh, has anybody ever see the History Channel show Night Fight? The History Channel show Night Fight, uh, that's what this, that show is based off of this sport. And if you happen to check out episode tev uh, 10, I won 10 grand, put a couple people in the hospital, Whoa. as friends do. <laughs> so sportsmanship is essential to our thing out here. Because we're doing something so dangerous, sportsmanship is key. So you will see people point out their opponents armor breaking rather than just hit them in the place without any armor. We have to take care of each other out here. It's very much like a rugby kind of thing where you ever, you ever hang, hung out with rugby players, they'll gouge each other's eyes and rake each other with cleats and they'll go have beers and laugh about it afterwards. We're very much the same way. We will laugh at each other's traumatic brain injuries and broken bones. Hopefully there'll be none of that here today. So thank you for asking. <laughs> thank you, Simon. Everybody give Simon a hand. <laughs> 